Hello, my name is Slavi Marinov, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the newly released website monitor software. You can download it from GitHub. I will include download links in the description in the video. And here's the, the repository of the software. It checks if your website is online every five minutes or however you configure it. And then it will also send you email notifications. And if you craft a special email, you will get text messages as well. There's different settings. You can click on config and you can say if more than two times the site has failed, then consider it offline. And then you can set the limits, how many alerts you want to get. And also alerts are reset every four hours here. Also, there is information about the user agent that the site monitor uses. That information will appear in your web server log files. Let's begin. So I'm already logged in into my server here. What I can do is here, go back, copy this address and then go to the specific directory that they want to install it in and type git clone and then paste the git repository link and hit enter. So right now we have downloaded the file. We need to configure it. Site monitor. Then go inside and then there's a sites.sample and there's config file. The first thing is to do is to edit the config file and you need to enter your email address here. Let's say test at slavi.biz. And also, for example, my Canadian carrier, it supports text to email to text. And if I type my phone number at msg.telus.com, it will convert that email to a text, which is kind of handy. So that way you can specify two email as email accounts the first one is the email the second one is going to be a text you don't really need to change any of the limits below and you can save the file i'm using vi in semicolon and w or zz like the uppercase zz to save the file the next step is to add the files that you want to be monitored monitor so let's see the sample files so here you can see there's a pound sign which is a comment and you can temporarily deactivate a site what we can do is copy to sites.txt and then let's edit it txt let's put new sites press i to start editing or bcs.com and I can save it semicolon and w then quit so the next step is to set up a cron job to do that you need to type cron on tab then minus e edit and then paste the path of the file to the monitor file. In order to get the whole line, you can go to again the RBCS site dash monitor repository and scroll down. There's an example here. You can copy that information. Let's paste it here temporarily. Let's go back here. So in order to get the full path can type pwd and we have this information so we need to paste that information in a cron tab minus e for edit then press i again paste it here it's gonna say every five minutes for the whole day is a good 
this PHP file and supply this parameter. And press escape and then double, double Z, uppercase Z, holding shift and then it will quickly save it. If you're monitoring multiple domains, then all the information, and if all of them are offline, then you will get one email containing information that those two domains are offline. One thing to remember is that there's a threshold. If that threshold is not reached, then you won't get a notification. Let's check the config file. So here it is set to two. That means that the website has to be offline for two consecutive times in order to be considered really offline. So that way we will avoid some temporary issues or timeouts and stuff like that. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact me by filing an, an issue here at GitHub. That is, that is the project page. And you can go to issues and then click on new issue and submit whatever information you you want and suggestion and we'll go from there hope you enjoy this video have a great day